नमस्ते दोस्तों ओल्ड स्कूल चैनल में आपका दोबारा स्वागत है इस वीडियो सीरीज में हम बेसिक्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर के बारे में पढ़ रहे हैं मुझे उम्मीद है कि आपको वीडियोस समझ आ रहे हैं कृपया वीडियोस को बार बार देखते रहें ताकि आपको वीडियोस में बताई हुई सारी बातें आसानी से समझ आ जाए आज के इस वीडियो में हम कंप्यूटर्स की क्लासिफिकेशन के बारे में जानेंगे कंप्यूटर्स की क्लासिफिकेशन का अर्थ है उन्हें उनके आकार उनके उपयोग वे कैसे काम करते हैं और अन्य कारकों के आधार पर विभिन्न समूहों या श्रेणियों में क्रमबद्ध करना यह लेक्चर आप लोगों को आपकी आवश्यकताओं के लिए सही प्रकार के कंप्यूटर को समझने और चुनने में मदद करने के लिए कंप्यूटर्स को अलग अलग कैटेगरी में अरेंज करने जैसा है क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स पहले इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कंप्यूटर के आविष्कार के बाद से ही विभिन्न उद्देश्यों के लिए विभिन्न तकनीकों का उपयोग करके कई नए कंप्यूटर विकसित किए गए तथा आजकल बाजार में बहुत सारे कंप्यूटर हैं और इन कंप्यूटरों को कुछ शीर्षकों के अंतर्गत वर्गीकृत करना बहुत कठिन है इस वीडियो में हम कंप्यूटर के इन्हीं विभिन्न वर्गों के बारे में जानेंगे तो बिना देरी किए शुरू करते हैं माइक्रो कंप्यूटर्स माइक्रो कंप्यूटर्स आर स्मॉल साइज्ड कंप्यूटर्स विच यूटिलाइज माइक्रो प्रोसेसर्स द सीपीयू ऑफ अ माइक्रो कंप्यूटर इज यूजुअली कंटेन्ड ऑन वन चिप माइक्रो कंप्यूटर्स हैव लो स्टोरेज कैपेसिटी एंड आर स्लो इन ऑपरेशन माइक्रो कंप्यूटर्स आर यूजुअली प्रोवाइडेड विद वीडियो डिस्प्ले यूनिट फ्लॉपी ड्राइव एंड प्रिंटर सम माइक्रो कंप्यूटर कैन सपोर्ट हार्ड डिस्क ऑल्सो कॉमनली यूज लैंग्वेज ऑन दीज माइक्रो कंप्यूटर्स इज बेसिक हाउ एवर दे कैन ऑल्सो एक्सेप्ट अदर हाई लेवल लैंग्वेजेस फॉर एग्जाम्पल पास्कल फोर्ट्रिन एट्सेट्रा मैक्सिमम वर्ड लेंथ ऑफ दीज कंप्यूटर्स इज सिक्सटीन बिट्स हाउ एवर मोस्ट ऑफ दीज यूज एट बिट्स वर्ड्स Many computers, many computers are general purpose computers. Systems with reduced storage capacity and performance as compared to mainframe computers. These computers can also accept all types of high level languages and word length in these computers is 16 or 32 bits. मेन फ्रेम कंप्यूटर्स मेन फ्रेम कंप्यूटर्स और लार्ज स्केल जनरल पर्पस कंप्यूटर सिस्टम्स हैज इट्स ओरिजिन इन अर्ली कंप्यूटर्स विच वर बिग इन साइज एंड रिक्वायर्ड लार्ज फ्रेम वर्क्स टू हाउस सेकेंडरी स्टोरेज डायरेक्टली एक्सेसिबल बाय दीज कंप्यूटर्स दीज कंप्यूटर सिस्टम्स हैव वन और मोर सीपीयूज दीज कंप्यूटर्स आर फास्ट इन ऑपरेशन and accept all types of high level languages word length in these computers is 16 or 32 or 64 bits super computers super computers are large general purpose computers the high speed in those computers is due to use of a number of processors working in parallel and high storage densities are obtained by using magnetic bubble memories and charge coupled devices thus reducing the cost of storage however there are several ways of classifying computers firstly depending upon the technology used first generation based on the use of vacuum tubes second generation based on the use of transistors third generation based on the use of small scale integration fourth generation based on the use of large and very large scale integration microprocessor based fifth generation is based on the use of artificial intelligence secondly depending upon principle of working on the basis of working principle computer can be classified in three types first one is digital computers in which mathematical expressions are represented as binary digits and all operations are done using these digits at very high rate these produce very accurate and precise results 
Second one is analog computers. These obtain continuously varying signals and thus depend to a great extent on accuracy of measurement of signals. These are fast and best suited for solving differential equations. And the third one is hybrid computers. Hybrid computers are the mixture of both analog and hybrid computers. These have best qualities of analog and digital computers. Thirdly, depending upon the size of computers. According to the size, the computers can be classified into following four types such as First one is large-scale computers. It may have one or more CPU for computation purposes, which results in significant high processing power, memory, and storage capacity. Large-scale computers are commonly used in scientific research, government applications, and other scenarios that require a large amount of computational resources. Second one is medium and small-scale computers. These have same features as large-scale computers but with a small storage capacity. All these are mainframe computers. For example, all of the CPU is concentrated at one central place. In contrast to this, distributed arrangement is also possible in which case CPU is distributed physically and computations are thus carried out locally at several places. Third one is mini computer systems. It is so small in size that it can be mounted on a rack or put on a table. It is fast in basic operations but has a limited set of instructions and the number of input-output devices is also limited. It is frequently dedicated to a specific function. And the fourth one is microcomputer or desktop computers. With the further reduction of the size of main memory, smaller and smaller computer systems have been produced. The cost is reduced. Microcomputers are much more cost effective than mini computers. Microcomputers are used for a variety of purposes. Fourthly, depending upon the purpose of use. On the basis of purpose of use, the computers can be classified into four types. First one is general purpose computers which can perform almost a variety of functions with the help of proper programming. General purpose computers are used mainly for processing complex mathematical calculations and accounting purposes. Second one is special purpose computers, which are designed for some particular purpose. For instance, Process control computers are employed for controlling and monitoring thermal power plants, steel plants and chemical plants, etc. Third one is high intelligence machine computer, which are used for remote controlled applications like robots, rocket launching pads, etc. And the fourth one is knowledge information processing system. These have developed recently and these have the ability of reasoning, thinking and decision making. Fifthly, depending upon the processing modes. On the basis of processing modes, computers can be classified into four types. First one is batch processing modes. Data to be processed is accumulated over a period of time and processed periodically. It is used for office work like accounting etc. Second one is real-time computers. Each transaction is processed as soon as it is received, there being no time for accumulation of a batch of data. It is used for online processes where immediate response is required like railways booking system. Third one is dedicated to regularly scheduled job. In this mode only one request is considered at one time like bill depositing machines.
Fourth one is time sharing mode, concurrent use of single computers by many users, each having his own input output device and accessibility to computer at the same time. The computers in such cases give small, but frequently repeated, amount of time, so that each user gets almost immediate response. Some other important type of computers. Centralized computers. In this computer system there is only one main or parent computer and this is installed at a particular place. A number of personal computers are attached with this main computer. Any transaction carried out by these personal computers is actually done in this main computer and the subsequent or relative information is then transferred to all the personal computers attached with this main computer. The personal computers attached with the main computers are called nodes. The number of personal computers that can be attached with the main computer depends upon the capacity of the main computer. Many input-output devices can be attached with the nodes or personal computers. One typical example of such a system is that of railways booking system. Decentralized computer system, in this computer system all the computers are independent to one another. Any processing done in any of the computers remain within itself and the results are not transferred to any other computers unless otherwise some special arrangement is made for the same. Distributed computer system In this computer system two or more computer are attached with each other making a particular group. All these groups are working independently to one another. But every group is sharing information within its own computers. Example is that of accounts department computers, personnel department computers. The processing of a logically related set of information processing functions through the use of multiple, geographically separated communication devices. That's all for today. इसी तरह के लिएक्चर्स के लिए चैनल पर आते रहें और सीखते रहें अगर वीडियो अच्छा लगे तो कृपया लाइक शेयर व सब्सक्राइब करना न भूलें तथा नोटिफिकेशन बेल को दबाना न भूलें ताकि नए वीडियो की नोटिफिकेशन आपको मिल जाए थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब